Hi Weber fans, so today we're gonna to be unboxing the Weber Infusion Roaster. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate. Slap that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Now don't forget everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products, so make sure you check those out. Right, so as I said at the beginning of the video, we're gonna be unboxing and checking out the Weber Infusion Roaster. So what we'll do is go straight to it. Right, so here we have the Weber Infusion Roaster. Now this is Weber's alternative. If you don't wanna use the rotisserie, you can use this. Now I have used something similar like this in the past, and I will put a link in the description to, of what I've used instead of before I had the Weber one. Now, I'm gonna open this box and see what you get in there. And then what I wanna do in a following video is check it out and see if it is as good as what I've used in the past. Now, there are a lot of these products on the market. Obviously, Weber have jumped on the bandwagon. I don't know how long this has been out. But like I said, I have used ones previous in the past and we'll open up and see what the difference is between what I've used and what this does. So what we'll do is start unboxing it. Get the instruction book, which is pretty good. And we've got our top. Okay. Our base. Oh, and we've got our little cap here. Alright, so you get three pieces in there. So I'm assuming that goes on there. Of this slots in here, like so. So what we'll do is quickly zoom out and then we'll discuss what you've actually got in the box. Well, so what you've got is your infusion cap, your infusion cup, you've got your base cup, and then obviously your base. Now the idea of this is obviously, as you put your chicken on there, you'd fill this with some beer, and what I used to do with mine is I'd put seasoning in there as well. So you'd season your chicken, and what happens is as your chicken cooks, you put that on top, chicken goes on there, and then Weber have got this cap. Now the one I had before, you didn't have a cap, it was literally a base, and you may have seen them, and I'll, I'll say I will put a link in the description below of what I had before. Um, I found what I used before worked really well. Whether this works really well, I'm gonna try it out in a follow-up video. The advantage of this is obviously you can do beer can chicken without having to stick it on a dirty old beer can. So what you do with this is you put your beer in here, put a bit of seasoning in there, season your chicken as normal, sit that on there, then you've got these little holes, which obviously that's gonna boil and it's gonna steam inside that chicken. Now with this cap on the top, that's obviously gonna keep all that moisture inside, so it's not gonna escape at the top of the chicken, in theory. <laughs> I wanna know if this actually works. Now the ones I've used in the past, they did make the chicken more moist, it was less greasy because all the fat dripped down and it did flavor the meat. So whether this works really well, that's what I want to test. Right, so any new cookware, Weber recommend that you wash this with a bit of detergent and then obviously dry it off with a nice soft cloth or a paper towel. And then they want you to season it with some oil, some olive oil or something like that, some cooking oil, just to seal that ceramic and then give that a wipe before you actually use it. So that's their only recommendation that they do before you actually cook with it. Now, with it being all an aluminium base, my only fear is once you wash it, whether this is going to start turning black and you're going to be black fingers or anything like that at the moment there's nothing coming off there so it's pretty clean but that's what tends to happen with aluminium now whether it's going to damage it in the dishwasher i don't know but weber recommends the dishwasher safe so it is covered by that warranty if anything happens with it it says it's dishwasher safe actually in the instructions right so this does come at quite a hefty price and i will put a link in the description below of probably the best place to get it from and like I said, I will put links of alternatives. So wait until I've tried this out in the next video and see what the review is and how we go with cooking the chicken on it, whether we can get it in the baby queue. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you won't fit the two and a half kilo chicken that we're gonna put on there in the baby queue, standing up, which is what I normally have cooking lying down. Now, the first thing I wanna check out is whether this will fit in the baby queue. Because to me, it looks quite tall now, I know I can fit a chicken in sitting down, but whether we can fit a chicken in standing up. 
So what we'll do is grab the baby cube and see what height we've got with this sitting in there. Well, so we've got our baby cube and this is gonna go on straight on the grill. That's how Weber recommend. Now your chicken's gonna sit on top of there, obviously with the cap in. Now if you've got a small chicken, to me that looks like it's gonna fit. So we'll just try that. And that's not catching at all. So it will fit in the baby cube, so long as there's nothing higher than that. So now what we'll do is we'll raise it up by just putting the convection tray on and seeing if it catches them. So we'll take that off. Now I know you're not gonna cook it with the convection tray on there, but this is to give you a perspective of whether you can cook it in a baby queue with a lower lid. So we'll sit that at the back and see if she catches. And that, that's touching the lid now, okay? So if we put it in the middle, that's still, still touching. So what we've got distance wise is we've got about 10 mil above there so if you've got a chicken obviously chicken's not going to be that thin it's going to come out so i think a chicken is going to catch unless you've got a very small really small chicken to go on there so to take that off and i will test this in the next video i will try a chicken get a full size chicken that i use and see if that actually fits on there but i'm assuming our chickens we buy is going to sit about that high so if you've got the Q200 or the family Q, then I reckon this will fit with your chicken standing up. But for the baby Q, you're probably looking pretty tight and pretty lenient on whether this is gonna actually fit and work in the baby Q. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that unboxing, that brief unboxing and seeing what this infusion system's got in the box. As we've discovered, it will, it will fit in the baby Q, but without a chicken on it. <laughs> So there's no point unless it's a really small chicken because you've literally got 10 mil from the top. $70, we'll see when we test it out in the following video. I'm gonna use it on the Genesis because it doesn't fit in the baby Q. It will probably fit in the Q200 or Q2200, so to say, and it will fit in the Q3200. Um, if you've got one, let me know in the comments below what you think of it, and I, but I will be doing a follow-up review once I've tested it in the Genesis. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Right, so let's get the end of the video there. But wait until I've tried this out and see what my reviews is with